New at six, Georgia lawmakers are sponsoring a bill to give themselves a raise, a 322% pay raise. That would more than double their paycheck, and since your taxpayer money pays their salaries, people have a lot of questions and opinions about it. So 11 Lives' Doug Richards set out to break down the facts while seeking your perspective. A resolution authorizing the granting of... On a typical February day at the Capitol... Ways and means. House Bill 255... Lawmakers are at the center of a beehive of constituents, lobbyists, and influencers... That completes first readers. And among them all, the legislators are among the most poorly paid. 17,003 was what I recall being my income since I've been here, and that's 19 years. Senator Valencia C's bill would increase pay for legislators. She and most of the other 235 legislators make a bit more than $17,000 per year. Her bill would bump it up to an amount equal to Georgia's median annual household income measured by the Census Bureau. In 2017, that was almost $53,000. That's a raise of 322%. <laughs> That's a big number. When you say 300 um, percent pay raise, it does seem like a lot. Visitors to the Capitol tend not to be well versed in the nuances of legislative compensation. Throw out a percentage like that, and you might hear this from ex-Marine Zachary Beckwith. 300 percent. I believe that's way too much. Way too much. I don't know what they've done to get 300 percent raise, but that's a dramatic increase. Legislators are technically considered part-time workers. They can also collect expenses and per diems. Senator C says the $17,000 salary eliminates many prospective candidates. It's truly a full-time position because you cannot say, no constituent, I'm off the clock. You can't tell constituents that. You still are working on their behalf the whole year until you come back. And school teacher Lorraine Montague says what matters isn't the percentage of the raise. They're leaving their families like so many times, so many um, nights a week. I think 55000 is certainly reasonable for them to be making. Legislators generally are not enthusiastic about raising their own salaries. This time it could be different. There's bipartisan support and it's not an election year. All right, Doug Richards, thank you. As you can imagine, this has ignited quite a conversation on social media. Your voice matters on 11 Alive. So go to our Facebook page, weigh in. You can also dig into the proposal's details on 11alive.com.